Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to have 7 minutes about upper cross syndrome and best exercises to fix it. This video is for educational purposes only, and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Have you ever gazed at yourself from the side, either in a mirror or in a photo, and seen a cross back, or maybe one of your friends or family members pointed out that you had an upper cross syndrome? One of the most common questions that come to your mind now is what can I do to fix my upper cross syndrome? In this video, we are going to be sharing with you the treatments of the upper cross syndrome. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. How to fix it. If left untreated, a person with the upper cross syndrome will start to have pain in their shoulders and neck. Over time, their chin will go closer to their ribcage, resulting in spinal degeneration. Many people with upper cross syndrome experience severe headaches in addition to their neck and shoulder pain. The good news is that upper cross syndrome can be managed and can be corrected entirely for some people. Here are 5 motions that can fix the upper cross syndrome. Number 5. Neck Stretch. When you have the upper cross syndrome, your trapezius and scalene muscles are also engaged in this issue. So, this may cause neck pain and headache for you. The upper muscle in your neck, which is on the back of your head, will be tightened if you have experienced pain in this area. With this stretch, you can make this muscle stronger. You should stand with your shoulders down and back to do this stretch. Smoothly pull your right ear toward your right shoulder. You can put your hand on your hand to give your neck more support. Then stretch your neck to the side. Hold the motion for 30 seconds and repeat it for 3 sets. Number 4. Advanced Chest Expansion. This exercise has many different types and all varieties will work on your upper back. It will make your upper back muscles stronger and more flexible on both sides, back and front. It also increases the range of motion in the shoulders and chest. You can do this exercise while you are standing, and holding a Pilates band in front of your body, a few inches above your head with both hands, stretch the band, lift your chin up and look toward the ceiling. Hold the pose for 30 seconds each set, and having 3 to 5 sets is enough per day. Number 3. Seated Shoulder Stretch Physical therapists have suggested this movement for those who want to strengthen their upper back muscles and neck muscles. To do this stretch, you need a resistance or Pilates band. If you do not have a Pilates band, it's fine, you can do the exercise, and it will be effective even without bands. To do this stretch, you should stand with a straight back or sit on a chair. Put your feet as wide as your shoulders, and it is essential to have a slight bend on your knee if you are standing. Hold the band with straight arms in front of you. Squeeze the band slowly by your hands to the sides. Focus on the squeezing and do it slowly. You should keep your arms straight during the movement. And then return to the starting point and do it again. You should have 10 to 15 reps on each set. You can do it one or two times a day. Number 2. Chest Doorway Stretch. This stretch will directly affect your upper back muscles, especially your lower neck muscles. This move has been suggested by many physical therapists because it opens the chest and stretches the shoulders. Stand with a doorway. 
bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Then raise your arms. Your upper arms should be parallel to the ground. Place your forearms on the side of the doorway. Step forward and put one foot on the other side of the doorway. Slowly shift your weight onto the front foot. Hold. Complete three sets for 15 to 30 seconds each, two to three times a day. Number one, press up back extension. You should start all the exercises slowly and carefully. We have suggested these exercises to ease your pain and not hurt your health more than before. So, do the exercises with concentration and focus on avoiding any damage. For example, if this pose gives your disc a dull pain at first, you can put a pillow under your belly. To do this exercise, you should lie on the abdomen or be prone and prop up the upper body on the elbows. You can both lift and do not lift the hips off the floor. Hold it initially for 5 seconds and gradually work up to 30 seconds per repetition. Having upper cross syndrome not only gives you poor posture, but it also gives you pain and headache. So, if you have the upper cross syndrome, you can put these exercises in your daily routine. However, for severe cases, you should see a doctor. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.